Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome to a quick tutorial. This is one of a couple of mini tutorials I'm going to be doing, uh, both of which have been fairly regularly requested and sort of plug gaps in the uh, the BD Armory tutorials I've done so far. This one is going to be on installing BD Armory and sort of avoiding the various pitfalls and potential banana skins that lie along the way. To start with, we are just going to do a quick Google search. So we're going to go for BD Armory uh, Runway Project. There we go. Now the top link for that is the space stock download uh, link and we're just going to open that up in a new tab. Now for some reason space dock is being really slow at the moment so I suspect this might be one of those magic of editing moments. And what do you know? There it is. Uh, now, I've mentioned quite a lot recently the two different flavours of BD Armoury, but it's kind of relevant here, so I'll I'll go through it again. At the moment, there are two sort of branches of BD Armoury. There's the, the main one, BD Armoury Continued. That was being maintained by Papa Joe and a bunch of others. But Papa Joe stopped maintaining it. I can't remember how long ago that was, but uh, yeah, that sort of fell into disrepair. And the aforementioned bunch of others sort of jumped across and started making this BD Armory for Runway Project, which is primarily for Scott Manley's Runway Project series, but is also a, a more updated version of BD Armory just generally. A bunch of bug fixes, a bunch of um, balance changes. Uh, recently, Papa Joe has re-emerged. He's done a recompile of BD Armory Continued for 1.12.3, for KSP 1.12.3. Um, and I have it on good authority that talks are going on behind the scenes to tie up these pretty significant loose ends. But uh, for the time being, I do recommend you download this one, BD Armory for Runway Project. So we are going to go ahead and do that. Of course, this link here will download the most recent version of BD Armory for KSP 1.12.3. If you're running an earlier version than that, you might want to click on the change log here and scroll down to find the relevant version for um, for your version of KSP. This goes back all the way to 1.10.0. If you're running an earlier version of KSP than that, then you might actually want to go and uh, hunt out a uh, the relevant version of BD Armory Continued. Also worth noting that, uh, as it says here, physics range extender and module manager are dependents of BD Armory. All the links are down here. I will also put all the links for all of these things in the description of this video. Anyway, now that we have our copy of BD Armory, what do we do with it? Well, we're going to get rid of Chrome here and we are going to go to our main Kerbal Space Program folder. Uh, if you're running this uh, through Steam on PC, then the path of the folder will be this. If you're running the non-Steam version on PC, or if you're running it on MacOS or Linux, you should be able to Google the path. Um, and if you're running on Sinclair Spectrum, then a very well done to you. But anyway, uh, we are looking for the game data folder here. If you have nothing else installed, no mods, then you'll see uh, just these two things here. If you don't have any DLC, in fact, you'll only see the squad folder there. Um, now it's time for us to bring up our little downloads folder, which, as you can see, has our little uh, zip file of BD Armory for Runway Project. We are just going to open that up like that. Now, there is a folder in here called game data. Very important, you do not put the game data folder into your game data folder. You're going to have a bad time. What we're going to do is open that up, and there is another folder called BD Armory. The folder icon isn't showing for some reason. I have no idea why that is. My PC being very slow with things like that today, I'm not sure why. But we are going to take the BD Armory folder and drag it across to the game data folder. Once again, we are not dragging across the game data folder to the game data folder. We are dragging across the BD Armory game uh, BD Armory folder to our game data folder. And once you've finished, your game data folder should look like this. Click on the BD Armory folder, and we should see all these folders here. If if you're not seeing that then something has gone wrong. We are also going to want, as I mentioned earlier, our physics range extender uh, mod, and we are also going to want our module manager. And that is it. You are set up. You can fire up KSP and you will have uh, BD Armory and all the weaponry there ready and available for you. 
Just before we finish with the whole uh, installing mods thing, uh, I do get a lot of questions asking what mods should I install to add a bit more depth to KSP, particularly with sort of designing fighter craft in, uh, in BD Armory. My own three must-haves are Airplane Plus, Tweak Scale, and, uh, and Vessel Mover. Just be a little bit wary. Tweak Scale is a little bit of a conflict magnet. Um, but yeah, once again, when you're downloading any mods whatsoever, uh, make sure you do not drag the download game data folder into your KSP game data folder. Um, that and uh, not having the uh, not having the two dependencies, Physics Range Extender and Module Manager, are behind. I'd say easily above 90% of the problems I see uh, with BD Armory. Uh, I won't link these three in the uh, in the video description. You should be able to find them fairly easily just by Googling them. And uh, if you want to check you've installed these mods correctly, you just uh, click on the mod folder and you should see something like this. And if you don't see something like this, if it's just another folder, then you've probably done something quite badly wrong. Um, Anyway, that's uh, that's it for the manual install. This is sort of the manual method of doing things. You can also do it by uh, through CCAN, by installing CCAN, and that will automatically install everything for you and any dependencies and keep it all up to date. And so takes the kind of the human error out of it. But I like a lot of flexibility with my mods. I like to sort of um, sort of swap them in and out depending on what video I'm doing, like, like this one, for instance. Um, so I just uh, I stick to the whole manual method, although it can be a bit of a headache at times. Uh, but anyway, yes, I think that's everything I wanted to cover. So let's uh, let's go and take a look at the fruits of our labor. So I fired up KSP, and if we go into the space plane hangar, then um, we should see here there's a new tab, the BD Armory tab, which has sort of ammunition, guns, missiles, uh, ray domes, armor, all that stuff ready for you to play about with. Um, if you have just installed BD Armory, it might be worth going and looking for the ammunition boxes. Normally, if there's a problem with the uh, install, quite a lot of the time, um, these ammunition boxes will go missing, which might be a bit of an early warning for you. Um, but that's pretty much it, really. If we just go back to our install folder, our game data folder, you can see Module Manager has just uh, populated these four little data files. That's perfectly normal. Um, but just one more note, as I was saying, about um, when you sort of drag your mods across from your download folder or wherever um, and making sure you don't sort of take the game data folder and put it in the game data folder. I've seen it with some mods. They have sort of like the mod name and you click on that folder and then it goes into a game data folder. And then within the game data folder is the actual mod folder. So just something to watch out for. And I don't know why some mods do that, but they uh, but they do. But um, that will be all for today. If you do have any further problems, then I do recommend you pop onto the Discord. Uh, there's a lovely, friendly bunch on... Well, most of the time there's a lovely, friendly bunch on there, and they are normally more than willing to help out with anybody who has any problems. Uh, if you have enjoyed today's video and you haven't already, then please consider uh, liking, subscribing, following me on Twitter. Um, all those links in the description, as well as the download links I've previously mentioned, and also uh, links to the PayPal and the Patreon if you want to help support the channel. You too can get a bunch of benefits, your own patron Kerbal, which will be used in my videos, as well as access to the patron-only Discord, your name at the end of the video, regular updates, that sort of thing, the normal stuff. Um, I will be back soon with some more BD Armoury. Uh, until then, though, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.